Hey there, eyeball enthusiasts. Welcome back and thank you for watching. You've probably looked into someone's eyes before and thought, wow, that's intense. But did you know your eye color can reveal ancient genes, strengths, weird health quirks, and even optical illusions built into your DNA? Today, we're breaking down eight different eye colors. So grab a mirror, blink twice, and get ready to learn why your eyes might just be the most dramatic part of your body. One, brown eyes the classic that rules the world. First up, brown eyes, the Beyonce of eye colors. Everywhere you look, boom, brown eyes. Around 70 to 80% of people on earth have them. Fun fact, brown eyes aren't actually brown. They just look that way because of melanin. That's the pigment that decides how dark or light your eyes are. More melanin equals darker eyes. The advantage, high melanin pigment, means better protection against bright light and UV rays. In sunny environments, think ancient Africa or tropical regions, this would have been handy. Some studies suggest people with darker eyes may have better contrast detection in bright glare conditions. In short, if your eyes are brown, you got the sunshield version. Nice. People with brown eyes may have a slightly lower risk of certain eye diseases like macular degeneration, but might be more sensitive to seasonal depression. Yep, even your eye color can affect your mood settings. And here's the wild part. If we shined a bright enough light through a brown eye, don't try this at home. It might actually look blue underneath. That's because technically everyone's eyes have the same structure, just different amounts of melanin. Two, blue eyes, the ancient mutation. So blue eyes, they might look like little pieces of sky, but they are actually the result of a genetic glitch that happened roughly 6,000 to 10,000 years ago. Scientists believe everyone with blue eyes has a common ancestor, basically one ancient human whose body decided, you know what, let's delete the brown pigment code. So technically, your eyes are a tiny version of Earth's atmosphere. The advantage? Blue eyes are even lighter, so you get more light entry into the eye. That might help in northern latitudes with less sunlight, enabling better vision in dimmer light. Some scientists speculate that as humans migrated out of Africa into Europe, lighter eye colors like blue appeared because there was less sun, less need for heavy pigment. So blue equals northern lights bonus. Weird myth alert. In medieval times, people thought blue-eyed folks could see into souls or predict the weather which, to be fair, might just be because they were always squinting at the sun. Health note, blue eyes are more sensitive to light, so yeah, you are more likely to have dry eye syndrome or to require sunglasses. Three, green eyes, the rare gem. Green eyes, statistically the rarest natural eye color, about 2% of the world. That's rarer than redheads and people who actually read the terms of service. What makes them green? It's a perfect storm, a little melanin, light scattering, and yellowish pigment called lipochrome. The advantage. Now we get into lighter pigments, which in some cases give more light sensitivity. That can help in lower light settings, like dusk, twilight. Some evolutionary stories propose when humans moved into less sunny regions, lighter eye colors like green emerged because less pigment was safe. So if your eyes are green, you might have gotten the twilight bonus. Here's a fun science fact. No one is born with green eyes. Most babies start off with blue or gray, and only around age one or two does melanin step in and turns eyes into the green we know and have seen. Myth Corner. In ancient Rome, green eyes were considered a sign of witchcraft or seduction. Today, they mostly mean your selfies get twice as many likes. Four, hazel eyes, the mood ring of eye colors. Hazel eyes, the most confusingly fabulous of them all. Are they green, brown, gold? The answer, yes. Hazel eyes are basically your iris saying, I couldn't pick just one. They can change depending on light, mood, or what color shirt you're wearing. Hazel eyes look green in sunlight, golden indoors. This happens because of how light scatters off different pigments in the iris. It's not mood magic, this rats, it's physics with flair. The advantage, Hazel eyes are interesting because they're in between, pigmented enough to be protected, but lighter than full brown. Some research hints that hazel eyes might adapt better to varying light conditions. They can handle very dark and very light at the same time. 
so maybe you're the all-rounder in the eye color league. Here's a fun fact. Hazel-eyed people often have a higher concentration of melanin around the edge of the iris, giving that unique golden ring look. Five, gray eyes, the storm clouds. Gray eyes, mysterious, rare, and kind of moody looking. They're not actually gray pigment either, surprise. It's a mix of light scattering and low melanin, even less than blue eyes. Here's a fact bomb. Only about 1% of people have true gray eyes, often found in Northern or Eastern Europe. The advantage, gray is rarer, and from an evolutionary viewpoint, it might reflect an even further reduction in pigment. That might equate to more light sensitivity, but also more vulnerability to bright light. But in very low light environments, maybe it helps. If you have gray eyes, congratulations, you might be living proof of the minimum pigment path. Because of low pigment, gray eyes can shift between blue, green, or silver tones, depending on light and mood. The myth corner. Some cultures said gray-eyed people had eyes of the gods. In modern translation, that is, you have resting mythic face. Six. Amber eyes, the golden hour. Amber eyes, warm, golden, and super rare. Only about 0.5% of the global population has them. That's rarer than winning a free pizza from a vending machine. The color comes from a pigment called lipochrome, pheomelanin, the same stuff that gives red hair its color. The advantage? This one is a bit exotic. Amber has a yellow-gold tint, which suggests not just pigment level, but different pigment types, like lipochrome. Some research hints that amber eyes might combine decent protection with good clarity. Also being rare, they stand out, which might have social sexual signaling advantages if you believe that stuff. In short, amber equals standout mode. A fun myth, amber-eyed people were thought to have animal-like traits. Wolf eyes, cat eyes, eagle eyes, depending on who was writing the myth. There are no known medical superpowers, sadly, but those eyes are extra reflective in sunlight, so maybe you do have cat DNA. Seven, red slash violet eyes, the albino illusion. Okay, this one's wild, red or violet eyes, they're super rare and mostly occur in people with albinism, a condition where the body doesn't produce enough melanin. Why red? Because you're literally seeing light reflect off blood vessels inside the eye. Yep, those beautiful red eyes are a biological behind the scenes special. Violet eyes. Sometimes light mixing with the reddish tint creates a purple glow, famously seen in old photos of Elizabeth Taylor, though camera filters probably helped. The advantage very rare colors often get signaling value. Look how unique I am. It's clearly a social advantage for attracting mates, standing out in the group. Also, extremely low pigment levels may correspond to ancestors in very low sunlight regions, or genetic drift. If you have this, you might be part of an exclusive club. Own it. 8. Heterochromia. The double feature. Finally, heterochromia, aka two eyes, two moods. It's when your eyes are different colors. One blue, one brown, maybe one hazel, and one gray. It happens because of uneven melanin distribution. Sometimes genetic, sometimes caused by injury, or even a harmless mutation. There are different types. Complete heterochromia, each eye a totally different color. Sectoral heterochromia, one eye split like a pie chart. The advantage, you are a rare genetic mutation, you are unique, and people will always remember the interactions with you. Use this for your popularity advantage. Myth alert. In some cultures, people thought those with two different eyes could see both heaven and hell. Honestly, they just see more color variety than the rest of us. Bonus section, the science of eye color. Okay, but how does all this magic actually work? It's all thanks to melanin, the pigment that decides how light or dark your eyes, skin, and hair are. Eye color depends on two main genes, OCA2 and HERC2. They act like volume knobs. Turn up melanin, you get brown. Turn it down, you get blue or gray. And since genes mix and match differently in every person, eye color inheritance is like genetic roulette. Not a simple mom has blue eyes, so do you. Basically, your eyes are the world's most stylish genetic accident. So, there you have it. Eight amazing eye colors, each with their own science, myths, and sparkle. Whether you've got stormy gray, 
emerald green, or classic brown, your eyes are literal optical illusions powered by DNA. Which one are you? Stay curious and keep your eyes open. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and comment your eye color below.